Jazz has been such a patriarchal community from the beginning that it's hard for people to see it any other way. But what would the music sound like if many of the contributors were women? Because the music itself is gendered, the music has never been allowed to reach its own potential. Some people would say, well, there just weren't enough women around. But what we have to look at is the machinery, social, economic, political, that didn't allow those voices to flourish. The jazz industry, which has been predominantly male, has echoed the bias system from which it emerged. So what would jazz sound like in a culture without patriarchy? Justice is indivisible, as Dr. King said. Racial justice and gender justice are, are linked. Uh, Berkeley has been a very supportive environment to female instrumentalists for a long time, from Tashiko Akiyoshi to Esperanza Spalding. So it makes sense that Berkeley would be in the forefront of gender equity with jazz and other genres. You know, what would jazz sound like, performed without bias, without patriarchy, is not a question where we should answer it by coming up with words to tell us what it should sound like. It's precisely the work the music will do, but we have to make it possible for that music to get made. We started Berkeley Institute of Jazz and Gender Justice to address these issues and to create a safe and nurturing environment for people of all gender identification to study jazz. Jazz really has played a major role in transformations. This is a beautiful start to making the music even more radical, inclusive, and to make it a space for justice. <laughs> <laughs>